This video will show you everything you need to know to operate a Canon Vixia HFR 400, 500, or 800 on your Clarion project. First, I'm going to go over when you should choose this camera over our HXR MC2500. If you're using this camera because you have no other options, go ahead and skip to this point in the video. For most situations, the Sony is the better camera. Its highest end video looks better and should take up less space on an SD card. The Sony has longer battery life and more available manual controls, but the Canon has a couple definite advantages. The Vixia is dead simple to operate. If you're new to video journalism, this will probably be the most comfortable camera to film with. Slightly worse video quality is a small price to pay for confidence while shooting. The other major advantage this camera holds is portability. If you're going far from the Clarion newsroom to shoot, this camera is undeniably easier to carry along than the Sony. If your pants are baggy enough, you can even do the old, is that a Vixia on your pocket or are you just happy to see me? If you really need to, you could even leave your tripod behind. This camera could get a stable shot out of Michael J. Fox on Red Bull. So if this is, for instance, your first video for documentary storytelling, and you need to take a camera to some far-flung corner of the earth, go ahead and use the Vixia Larry gives you. For your needs, you shouldn't bother trading in for a different camera. Now let's get started. First things first, make sure your batteries are charged well before you shoot. This camcorder doesn't come with a separate charger to stick dead batteries in. Rather, put the battery that needs recharging on the camera itself, then plug the camera in with the included cord here. Give yourself plenty of time to do this, as these are in no way fast charging. While you're at it, look over your case. If you're carrying a Clarion-issued Vixia, the lunchbox Doug gives you should have a few things inside. First and foremost is the camera. Any Vixia HFR lent to you by the school should perform nearly identically, give or take a few gimmicks Canon tried and removed over the years. The Clarion cameras are the R400 and R500 models. Each comes packaged with two Canon batteries and the corresponding charging cord. There should also be two more cables, a USB and an HDMI. You'll probably use neither, but I should explain why. The USB is intended for file transfer. The regular end plugs into your computer, and the mini end into the camera. You can transfer files from the camera to the computer this way, but you're probably going to edit your video on one of the school's Macs. If that's the case, just use the computer's SD slot for data transfer. It's much faster. If the flip screen isn't cutting it, the HDMI cable can be used to view your footage on a better screen. You can connect your camera to any TV or monitor that has an HDMI port, but I can think of few situations when you'd want to. If you're tethered while shooting, you sacrifice a lot of mobility. If you're reviewing afterwards, why not just download the files and watch them directly on your computer? Just keep those cords in the bag and move on. When you're prepping for a shoot, make sure there is an SD card inserted. If there are old videos on the card that you no longer need, now is a great time to clear them off. You can access them through the lower of the two buttons on the camera's left side. Using the touchscreen, hit Edit, Delete, then you can select specific files to trash or All Scenes. Your SD card should now be cleared. You can press the physical button again to return to shooting mode. The other button under the flip screen is the power switch. However, you probably won't need it as the camera turns on and off automatically when you open and close the screen. Soon after turning the camera on, it will prompt you to open the lens cover. To do this, locate the switch on the camera's right front cover and slide it down. Let's go over a couple more of the camera's physical features. The toggle on the top controls the camera's zoom. The camera's lens can zoom up to 32 times magnification. The camera can actually zoom beyond that but then it's just cropping digitally, which can really degrade your image quality. When you're out there, try not to overuse the zoom. Just get closer to your subject when you need to. On the bottom of the camera is a screw mount for a tripod. Please use a tripod as much as possible for your shoots. Your video will be so much easier to edit and look so much better if you use a tripod to keep your camera stable. The record button is on the camera's back right corner right where your thumb naturally rests if you use the hand strap. If you're going to handhold the camera, the strap will make it much easier. Technically, that's everything you need to know. 
you could take the Vixia and go shoot usable video right now. But stick around, because I've gone deep into the software over the past few weeks, and I've got a few more tips. There are five shooting modes. The camera should start up in auto. Please ignore baby, cinema, and scene modes entirely. If you have some extra time to mess with settings, change the shooting mode to programmed auto exposure. If you're doing any sort of interview, you'll want to use a microphone. The Clarion's wireless labs work great for this, and our setup tutorial for them still applies. Just plug the receiver unit into the mic jack. It's the forwardmost port of the camera. Then, with good headphones plugged into the adjacent headphone jack, have your interviewee talk at a normal level and adjust the mic input accordingly. To adjust, go into Settings. You might notice that you have a few more options in Programmed AE. Scroll down to Mic Level. If you want to be able to easily edit your audio, change it to Manual. Enable the Audio Level Indicator so that you can see what you're doing. Then, use the arrows to adjust the level as described previously. You want the loudest speech to still fall somewhere comfortably below zero decibels, but not so far below that it's inaudible. In this shooting mode, you can also choose your focus point. If your interviewee is the most prominent or only person in your shot, the camera should have no problem automatically keeping their face in focus. However, you can also tap anywhere on the screen and the camera will keep its focus there. If you're shooting B-roll, you can even do fancy focus pulls by tapping on a close object and then a far away one. So cinematic. One last thing. We've had more than one project nearly ruined because the colors were way off. Please, check your white balance. It takes 30 seconds. The four white balance options are Auto, Outdoor, Tungsten, and Custom. Outdoor is good for when you know you'll be shooting under the sun. Tungsten is good for very warm colored artificial lights, the type of light given off by old incandescent bulbs. Auto lets the camera pick a white balance it thinks is best. It constantly scans your environment to determine the color of the light. The camera is pretty good at this, but if you're shooting in an environment with a couple different colors of light, it can get confused. If this happens, it will shift between white balances, creating an unnatural color effect. You can eliminate this by choosing Custom. It uses the Auto White Balance feature when you press the button, then locks so it doesn't drift. If you are in a challenging light situation, Custom is probably the most useful white balance mode. There you have it. That's everything you need to shoot confidently on a Canon Vixia HF camcorder. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments. I hope you enjoy what may be your first taste of video journalism. Subscribe to Clarion Broadcasting for more student-centered tutorials. I'm Sean Bull, and I'll see you on the next one.